Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BB3D channel we're going to replace the screen and the control panel on the Soval SV01. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BB3D. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about cool 3D printer upgrades, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so my Soval SV01 has a little issue with the rotary encoder, the, the knob on the control panel. See, when you turn the knob, it has little spots where it clicks into place. You can feel them as you turn it. And when you're navigating the menus on the control panel or setting temperatures or what have you, every time that knob clicks into place, the screen advances to the next menu item or a setting is adjusted up or down. Or at least that's what's supposed to happen. I noticed on mine, there seemed to be some dead spots where you could feel the knob clicking into place, but nothing would happen. The screen wouldn't advance to the next menu or a temperature setting wouldn't change. Sometimes it was more noticeable than others. I confirmed with Sovel that the control panel with the LCD screen and the knob is the same one that Creality uses. So, as a test, I pulled the control panel from my Ender 3 Pro and connected it to the SV01. And everything worked as expected, so clearly there was a problem with the control panel on the SV01. I contacted Sovel and I sent them a quick little video to highlight the issue. They agreed that there was a problem, so they sent a replacement screen. Now, it took a couple of weeks to arrive, but here it is right inside this box. So let's go ahead and get the old control panel taken off and we can get the new screen installed. The control panel is held on by these two screws and it's connected by two ribbon cables around back. But before we take the control panel off, we need to remove the knob. And that just lifts up and off. Let's take that off and set it aside. Next, let's remove the two screws on the front which secure the control panel to the front of the printer. Hold on to the screen as you remove the screws so it doesn't fall. With the screws off and the control panel face down on the workbench, you can see those ribbon cables. Now, the ribbon cables are plugged into the sockets labeled EXP1 and EXP2, but the cables are both 10-pin cables and they're not labeled, so you really can't tell at a glance which one goes where. And there are three connectors, all the same size. When I was putting the printer together, I simply guessed at where they went, and luckily I guessed right. If I had guessed wrong, the screen wouldn't have worked at all. Now, since we've got the new screen, I want to make sure to move the right cables over to the right connectors. So I'm going to take a Sharpie marker and put some dots on the cables so I know which one goes where. I'll use one dot for EXP1 and two dots for EXP2. There. Now I will always know. Alright, so we can go ahead and unplug these ribbon cables. Let's get the new screen out of the box and set it down here so we can work on replacing the one on the control panel. We'll rotate these so they're in the same orientation. There are four screws holding the screen's circuit board into the control panel, so let's remove those and set the old screen free. And now we can put the new screen in its place. Let's get those four screws back in there. Perfect. Now let's plug the cables back in. Here's our cable with one dot, which goes in the connector labeled EXP1. And our cable with two dots, which goes in the connector labeled EXP2. Finally, let's get the control panel mounted to the front of the printer again. Oh, and let's put the knob back on too. And uh, just one more thing. There we go. There. Well, should we turn it on and see what happens? Here's to hoping everything works and we don't release any magic smoke. Not that I'm expecting any magic smoke. I'm pretty sure the cables went to the right connectors. Okay, here goes. That's promising. The screen is lighting up and showing what it's supposed to. So let's see if this fixed the problem. It seems pretty responsive. Each rotation of the knob is about 20 clicks and we seem to be going up by about that much every time I bring it back around. And there's 210. I'll click the knob in to accept that value. 
Awesome, that worked like a champ. So that's all there is to replacing the control panel on the Sobel SV-01. I'd like to thank Bill at Sobel for helping me out with the warranty stuff and getting the screen sent to me. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video and thank you for all the likes, comments, and shares. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on any cool 3D printing stuff. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, but either way, please share your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content I'm producing and you want to help out, you could buy me a coffee or leave a little something in the PayPal tip jar and links for those are in the description. Or you could use the affiliate links in the description if you're shopping on Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but a tiny portion of any purchase that you make helps to fund the channel and it's very much appreciated. Well, now that I've got a new screen and the control panel on my SV-01, I'm going to go print something cool. You do the same, and I'll see you next time.